And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kimbo Slice! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Juggernaut! Ready to fight? Ready. All right, after a big win his last time out by TKO, here is this young man making another UFC start tonight. The round one clock is underway. Hard to do better than he did his last time out, but if you talk to this confident young man, he thinks he can top it. That remains to be seen. Certainly a stiffer challenge here, at least on paper. We are underway. Front kick to the body by Slice. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. All right, so one minute into this fight and not much to dissect in terms of action. You might need to go use the restroom. You I might, mean, might be a good time. John, is it time? <laughs> Concession break. I'll be back with a hot dog. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Block that kick to the body. Under three minutes now to go on the round. And that left hook landed on the button. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Kimbo Slice gets hit with another flush left to the head. Legendary chin, but it has been tested tonight. Jab snaps the head back. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice left hand. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, blood dripping now from the lip. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. And he comes through with a big knee. One minute. He's back in the clinch. Oh, right That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That knee, that knee hurt him. And he's another huge knee. to the body here. Ah. Round two next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. gets underway. Hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Strong punch to the head in the clinch. Single collar tie now. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Slice. Misses with the left hook. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting with them. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. 
a lot of times those shots to the head will knock you out. But not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, how many knees can one man take? All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Big shot to the head. Big shot lands to both guys. Just over three minutes to go in round two. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Light swelling right now, but if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Big power shot there. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much. Oh, right under the elbow, right on the bottom. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. Oh! Oh, big left. Kimbo slices, nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. He ripped the body there. Great entry and timing on that takedown. He beat his opponent from the start. Look for him now to secure the position and then advance to what's next. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call in the ringside position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit ago. You could have called in the... All right, pausing the action here, and if the referee calls for the doctor, this could very well be the end of the fight, given all that swelling around the eye. It could be, and rightfully so. His eye is swollen shut. He cannot see his opponent. He's flailing at him. Can't find his target anymore. Dr. Corral's the referee. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now. But certainly that swelling bears watching as we move forward. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to cut oh, in the right side position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. And that one certainly found the target. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Really nice defense there. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, nice body shot. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has... Heard him again. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! He's hurt. He's wild. Big knee lands there. Oh, nice level change. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Let's work on 
All right, up. feet on the hips here. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submission or pick round and pop. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Slice is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's gotta grab him. He's gotta recover. Back to his feet. Oh! All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside position will indeed call the fight. Referee bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Yeah, doctor not here to make friends. He has no choice but to stop the fight. We have blood on our notes. <laughs> Goes into the books as a TKO via doctor stoppage. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kimball Slow!